I'm Corey Kellum with Phoenix LiDAR Systems, and in this video, we will break down what you need to know about LiDAR classification. So stay tuned. In less than four minutes, we will give you a crash course on the fundamentals of LiDAR classification. We'll define what classification is, why it is important, and ultimately discuss the best way to classify LiDAR data. If you would like to chat with one of our LiDAR experts and learn more about our LiDAR classification tools, we will leave a link in the description for you to do so. Also, if you learned something from this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. So what is LiDAR classification? Every LiDAR point within the point cloud can have a classification assigned to it. A classification is a definition of the type of object that reflects the laser pulse. Ultimately, LiDAR points can be classified into a number of categories with different classes defined using numeric integer codes. These codes can then be assigned different colors to easily visualize specific features within the point cloud. The American Society of Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing, or ASPRS, developed industry standard LiDAR classifications. However, custom classes can also be defined to meet project-specific needs. For example, bare earth ground points are assigned code 2 and can be colored brown while high vegetation points are assigned code 5 and can be colored green. As you can see, this makes it very easy to differentiate vegetation points from bare earth ground points. Why is LiDAR classification important? LiDAR classification is a way to extract valuable and actionable information from a feature-rich point cloud. For example, differentiating the points from the bare earth ground from the points that are trees and vegetation allow you to derive a bare earth digital terrain model used for surveying and engineering design purposes. Another example is differentiating the points that represent power lines and utility poles from the surrounding vegetation points. This enables you to assess vegetation encroachment and calculate the distance from potentially hazardous vegetation to assets along a corridor. So what is the best way to classify LiDAR? The best way to classify LiDAR requires leveraging a combination of automated, semi-automated, and manual or interactive classification processes. As a first step, Phoenix LiDAR offers fully automated advanced classification leveraging artificial intelligence. This AI tool has been trained on copious amounts of data and has learned to automatically extract power lines, poles, buildings, fences, cars, bare earth ground, and a slew of other classifications with the click of a button. Another option is to use semi-automated classification routines offering user-defined parameters enabling automation of these feature extractions while providing the user with input and control over the final result. Save time and energy by allowing algorithms to do the heavy lifting for initial classification and then manually check the result for accuracy. It is highly recommended to follow up the automated and semi-automated classification process with a quality check and fine-tune the algorithm's classification using interactive classification tools. So to recap, LiDAR classification is used to assign unique codes to LiDAR points so that all features within a point cloud are segmented and showcased in different colors. This is important because it makes it very easy to understand and interpret the scanned data to derive valuable and actionable information. The best way to accomplish this is through a combination of automated, semi-automated, and manual classification processes using a powerful point cloud classification software like Spatial Explorer and LiDAR Mill. For a free trial, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>